Okay, we're back at Focus on Imaging 2011, and uh, this time we're on the Drobo stand. These are old friends of ours. And uh, who are we talking to today? Paul Thackeray. Paul I'm, Thackeray, uh, right. I'm, I run the Drobo business operation for Europe. Great stuff. So I understand that we've got even more new gadgets and toys and fun things on the Drobo stand this year. Yeah, we've got several new products that have come out since Focus last year. Uh -huh. um, aimed fairly and squarely at uh, a number of customers from individuals through to very small businesses and all the way up to very, very large businesses and departmental computing. Right, well, so, well, let's take those one at a time because yeah. <laughs> I know there's a lot of products here. What yeah. have you got that would suit, say, for example, a, a semi-professional or a prosumer type photographer? Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, uh, earlier this year we produced the second generation of the Drobo S that people would be familiar with. Uh -huh. um, is that the 4-bay? That's a 5-bay. That's a 5-bay, right. 5-bay unit, um, typical Drobo. Drobo scenario, take the complexity out of storage and build it into the box. Right, um, yeah, we, now we should say what the benefit of a Drobo is, shouldn't that's we? That's right, absolutely. So, with a Drobo unit, you can take any disk drive from any manufacturer, put it into the unit, and run all the backups, and use it as a primary storage device, all automated using the, the Drobo unit itself. It takes all of the IT knowledge away from the users, because readers of your own are probably more interested in taking photographs than they are of running IT. Uh, and it's, it's so simple that my grandmother could run it herself if she wanted to. Yeah, so well, it's very as, a, as a matter of fact, my mother does. Your mother does. And she is a grandmother. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I was telling you earlier, I've got three of these and I do video editing off, off one of mine. Yeah. I've got it connected by Firewire and it's easily fast enough to do right. all the video editing for the photo walkthrough shows. Right. So, um, so I, I'm a big fan. So, so what's actually new this year? So the new Drobo S that we brought out is, yeah. has now got USB 3 on it. Great. And we had a lot of requests from existing customers saying USB 2 was a bit slow, we'd like to see USB 3. So we brought it out uh, just in January, so early this year. So right. that's an all new upgraded unit. I hate, to, I hate to give you a difficult question, but what yeah. about Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt. I mean, obviously too early to, to have done anything yeah. yet. But yeah, I mean, very, very interesting, great technology. Yeah. Um, it doesn't seem to be widely uh, available at the moment because there are very about 15 people, laptops at the moment. Yeah. Only on Mac laptops, and it's interesting to see that they've also kept the USB two and the uh, FireWire connectivity as well. So clearly, they're expecting people to maintain those connections. From a Drobo standpoint, we've always looked at the connectivity that's been uh, available, which is up and coming, and which is in widespread use. So clearly, we're looking at Thunderbolt. Yeah. So that's so that. I mean, obviously, too early to say, but too but, early to. Uh, it is the sort of thing I imagine Drobo would be doing. Yeah, watch this space and, and let's see how it develops. We, we have yeah. a lot of um, colleagues within Intel, so we're right. working closely. Oh, definitely, with definitely talking people. to the right people. Absolutely. So, okay, so that's the that's the prosumer level. That's let's take it up a notch to people who are actually working photographers. What, what have you got that would suit them? Yep, uh, there's, there are two um, higher level products that are Ethernet based. Right. So, whereas the Drobo S is directly attached to your computer, uh, if you have multiple computers that want to use gigabit Ethernet connectivity and perhaps you have multiple users with multiple computers that want to access files uh, at the same time then a Drobo FS file sharing unit is the uh, the way to go because in this you can have five disk drives again any manufacturer any capacity uh, self-managing storage uh, that sits on your Ethernet link and can be accessed by uh, a PC user and a Mac user. So uh, is that just shared files. as like an SMB share, so a Windows share? It, it shares uh, Apple-based files and... Oh, it'll and, do Apple, ta Apple sharing as well? Yep, Great. and it will do um, Time Machine backup too. Oh, fantastic. So it, it's a complete Ethernet-based storage device in a box that right. is very simple and straightforward to run. Okay, yep. sounds good. Uh, so that's the FS, uh, right. the 5-bay file share. So that's so we're still in the five bays, we're not That's in the eight bays. Right, yet. on the eight bays. So what have you got in the eight bays? Because I, wow. I, I know they I know they're big and expensive, but they're the thing we all aspire to. For business users, um, particularly the, the uh, larger photography companies perhaps, the creative agencies, mm. um, the 8-bay file sharing device is an extremely useful unit because not only do you have extra disk capacity available for you with 8 bays rather than 5, mm. but inbuilt within the unit at no extra charge, no license fees, is something we call Drobo Sync. This automatically replicates data to another Drobo 8-bay unit which can be elsewhere 
elsewhere in the same building, the same town, another country even. Oh, over the internet too? Absolutely. And, and, and that will tunnel through firewalls? And yes, we set up IP addresses of host and target. Great. And you automatically have uh, synchronized data on both units. So if you do have fire, flood or theft of one device, then clearly you have the other device with all the data available for you at any time, instant in time. Brilliant. And uh, there's a, a larger eight bay unit that is an iSCSI based SAN for those people who are in larger businesses. Uh -huh. uh, that's a very fast device because it uses iSCSI protocol. Uh, and now we're also moving in May into uh, even larger realms of a 12 bay unit. And not only is this 12 bay because people want and demand more storage because it's growing like toxic these days, they want it easily managed, which is the other thing with a large amount of storage, you must be able to manage it safely and easily. And, but also the new 12 bay unit is not only using SATA drives, but it could also use the faster SAS drives and even SSD drives. Wow, so you can you can put the, the pure memory drives in there as well. But will it, will it use those to make it faster? It does indeed. And in fact, we have created some software called Dirt Data Aware Virtual Tiering, right. which uses the speed and the benefits of very fast devices such as SSD devices in order to put on that storage medium very quick, fast, randomly accessed data, such as databases. So, how, so does, it, does it look at the pattern of data usage and figure out what needs to go where? Indeed, it looks at the data that is being used. It's a self-learning algorithm that then identifies which disks are the right ones to put the data across. So okay. if you were running videos... Very, very instance, clever indeed. It's very smart. Right. Um, well, this is, this is very much what we've come to expect from the sort of thing Drobo's doing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I mean, you're talking about a 12-bay unit. I've got to tell you, that excites me because when I first saw the original 4-bay Drobo, what I said to my mate Chris was, now I want a 20-disc version of that. Right. And so I mean, you're, you're steadily getting closer and closer to my dream. Well, with the advent of the new 3 terabyte drives, of course, which you can use in all of our products, yeah. if you have a 12-bay unit, you've got an availability of 36 terabytes. That's an awful lot of storage. Oh, oh, absolutely. I mean, you can already store more data than I ever dreamed of back then when I was talking yeah. about the 20s. Absolutely. So it's, it's fantastic. I love the products you make. Thank you very much for spending the time to talk to me. Thanks a lot, John. Been a pleasure. Cheers. Bye-bye. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.